Yeah. Um, I can just, um... We're right here, Kate. Go help Regan like I asked. You know, it was my idea to hire someone else, not Kate's. She was dead against it. Yeah, well, she nearly lost me when you barrister her instead. We're all trying our best here, Stevie. Sometimes we get it wrong. Told her it was the wrong thing to do. Kate, to be fair, Jody does have other things to think about. Yes, that's already been pointed out, thanks. I'm fully aware of the fact I'm the only one here with no stake in any of this, OK? Look, are you guys now argue with me because you all seem very tense? No, no more. It's so not you. It's OK. Because if you are, just... just... No, no, it's fine. It's fine. Come on, pick up the pace. We've got to get this done before the rain gets here. Well, lucky we're all here, then. Oh, yeah, you made your point, Jody. Then what are you still so mad about? I don't need you getting cranky either, so, uh, thanks for everything. But I know Alex is expecting you back. Alex? No, he's all right. So you got no idea where Riley is? That's what I said, yeah. And where's the blinking tank I told him to put in? Should have been done by now. Alex, I told you, I don't know. Well, fine, I'll get back, will you, Nat? Oi, 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 take it easy. Bloody Riley. Should have been back hours ago. He stuffed my whole day around. How are you going with that preg testing? Ah, uh, yeah, all done. Anything else before I pack up my bag of tricks? No, unless you got a magic wand in there. Magic cow prod? What spell are you after? Just the usual. Happy ever after. Tricky one, that. Mm. Don't I don't know it. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, oh, sorry. Right. Need a break? I still say we can manage when we're one down. Kate. But I am just the hired help, so my opinion doesn't actually count. We never said that. You don't have to say it. Can you stop bringing it up? It's not important. It's a fact. It Guys, is a we fact. really you stop, not stop, stop it! We've all got enough to worry about here without being at each other's throats as well. What's happening to us? This isn't who we are. So let's get this done. Together. Righto, boss. <laughs> wow. Listen, guys, uh, thank you so, so much. I really mean it. The next time you see a shortcut, Moira? No such thing, I know. Okay. Okay. Thanks. See you. See you. Bye-bye. Almost off the hook now. All you got to do is pump this back into the truck, get rid of it properly, and you're done. Apart from cleaning out the entire truck, paying for a new tank for Kalani, and groveling to Denny. Oh, and not to mention losing a fortune in ruined fuel. But no, the damsel isn't in distress anymore. <laughs> what can I say? Just ask if it's long necks or stubbies. <laughs> Beer, that's all it takes to say thanks. Men are easily pleased. Haven't you worked that one out yet, Moira? Hey, if you want me there, when you speak to Denny, stop things getting ugly. Thanks. But you can't look out for me all the time. I'm not your mother, Riley. Pity. She could learn something from you. Don't hate her for the choice she made. I don't hate her. I just don't know how she could stay with my father. Well, you share your life with someone, you have to take the bad with the good. To a point. And that point, when the good outweighs the bad, is different for everyone. Yeah, but if it's obviously bad. To you, maybe. But you can't see the whole picture. The only people who know what's going on in a marriage are the two people who are in it. They're the only ones who can know if it's worth saving. Kid themselves they can. Yeah, but we all cling to the hope. The spark we had in the beginning might still be there. We 
we all live in hope. Don't we? So Liz. Remember the night we met? That crazy little bar, Sam's? Huh. How about we go down to the pub tonight? Pretend we're back there. I'm going to go on. Well, I know it's a bit of a stretch, but... Why not? We can't force this, Fee. And if we don't make any effort, nothing will change. Maybe... If we remember what we first saw in each other. Go back to the beginning and start from there. Yeah, maybe. I better get dressed. Beer I owe ya. What, that's it? Oh, I can get you another one, but you said that's what you wanted. I'm a man, size counts, okay? <laughs> Would a slam do it? You see? Easily fixed. Here's to Ramsey's and to 150 happy pregnant cows. There's a toast I never thought I'd be making. <laughs> yes. So, Jody, head of local CFS. You sound surprised. Is that because I'm a girl? No, oh, just because you're you. Hey, should we tell Shannon there isn't a job going anymore? Shannon, did you say? Great. Now all I've got to do is get a number. You know, I had a feeling she wasn't going to be right anyway. So. No dirty martinis then. Do something better. It's a gun gallon martini. <laughs> Two Sams. And us. Remember that bartender? What was his name? Don't remind me, Fee. <laughs> Bet he remembers yours. How was I to know he was gay? Well, the freebie should have been a clue. You're very lucky I rescued you. Right. So you felt sorry for me? Um, it was a bit funny. <laughs> I guess it simply became later, huh? I'm so glad I met you. I love you so much. Oh, okay. How am I meant to answer that? Well, however you want. Right. I say nothing and I look like a bastard. I'll give you a call. Don't force me to say it back, Fee. Well, I can't help how I feel. Neither can I. Hey, Alex, sorry about today, mate. Where the hell have you been? Look, there was an emergency. Give me one good reason why I shouldn't sack you on the spot, mate. Shut up and listen, I'll let you know. Can this all wait till tomorrow, please? No, it can't. Look, I don't want to disturb you here. You've had your last chance, Riley. Good, stick your job. He was helping save Moira's business. You owe him an apology. Stevie, we're trying to have some time alone here. Don't tell me what to do, Stevie. Oh, someone has to tell you when you're being a jerk. Stevie! Alex! Just leave it! Stevie! Whatever it is, I don't want to hear it. Then don't go sticking your nose in. Oh, then stop making a fool of yourself. This isn't the first time with Riley. He had it coming, all right? Look, if you don't want to know the truth, fine. You go back to Fiona and keep playing the same game. You can talk. Who helped kick the lies, huh? The broken engagement, the fake pregnancy, you knew all that before me. Well, I figured it was none of my business like you keep saying. Damn right it's not. Well, you can't have it both ways. You can't choose when I'm your friend and then when I'm not. Either you want me as one the whole time or you don't. Yes, I want you. Where's Stevie going? Home. We are too. 